Screw you, Ice Cube. Not the not the musician. Uh, this Ice Cube right here in this cave. He is a bit annoying. Um, just like me. I'm totally annoying. I know, guys. I apologise. I, I'm like that. That's what I do. It's what I'm built for. It's what I was born to do. I was born on this earth to annoy people. And that is all I will ever do. And I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with my existence. Uh, and you should be too. You should all be very happy that you, you exist because you are unique and you add something special to the world. Without you, there is there is your, your spark, your special spark that you add to the the fire of the world does not exist anymore it fades out when you're gone and we don't want that because your spark is just as bright as everyone else's is and no, i didn't just read that from any poems or anything i actually just came up with that myself because i mean it's true everyone is unique and everyone has their own special kind of spark to add to the world you know Every, everybody uh has to to add something to the world has to uh try to be a part of it somehow and you already have that spark inside you that makes you unique so it's just a matter of uh, igniting that spark and becoming a part of it all so and my spark says ambition uh, towards my love of gaming I love video games I always have and I always shall and uh, and I'm a very social person too uh, as you can tell by my ability to never stop talking um, so yeah that was um, that was me uh, being serious for a second there. Um, hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. I always hated this race. I don't know why. Like, the, the console version just seems so much easier than this version. You have to, like, follow him just behind and then zoom in front of him at a specific point. Right, let's let's do this. Come on. Right, let's try not to fail here. Okay, Boggy, you go ahead and I'll just follow behind you slowly but surely. Don't lag behind too much. Yeah, cause he, look, look at that. He actually... He's like, come on, follow me. You can get faster than that. Come on. Nah, Boggy. I, I know your game, mate. I know your fucking game. I'll get in front of you and then you'll speed up tenfold and I'll fucking lose. Um, you just got to stay behind him until a certain point and then jump out in front of him. But I always forget what that point is that you're supposed to like jump out uh, in front of him at. I might, I might have to actually uh, do this more than once before I, I beat him. And if that's the case, then, you know, are you ready for a montage? Montage! You know. <laughs> Go on, Boggy. Have your fun. Fucking tell me off and wave your wave at me and all that bloody shit. I hate those bridges. They do my head in. Oh, man. I love these flagpoles. I, I don't know, man. They, like, wave like they're alive. Can you see that? I don't know if you take note of that. All right. I think this is the, the last stretch. So now we jump in front of him. And you stay behind me, you piece of shit. Yeah, there we go. Went quiet there for a few seconds. Cause, oh, oh, my God. There we go. I did it. I did it. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Hinting at the next race being with Banjo himself. Uh, although you can't do it without the racing shoes, so don't bother. Um, we'll come back here with the racing shoes and, and do that. Okay, the one last jiggy we have to get in this level is the Jinjo in uh, in the seal cave. So we're going to go do that. Uh, yeah, in there. <laughs> so we're going to turn back into Banjo. We're going to come back over here and get that um, Jinjo. And, uh, and that'll be it. That'll be uh, the end of uh, Freeze Easy Peak for now. Uh, until uh, we defeat Gobi's Valley. Uh, oh, Gobi's Valley is going to be fun. That's going to be a hell of a go in Gobi's Valley. Um, oh, man, do you know what? I'd love to... While I'm in a winter level, I'd, I mean, I could save this, actually, for, for a later level that has snow. But, I mean, I don't know. I could, I could tell this story again later, but... Um, I mean, I'd, I've avoided t t saying this this whole time because, like, I didn't really want to, you know, talk about life stories while trying to play this game. Although that's what commentary is about, really. It's talking about things uh, about, you know, you, really. what About what you like and uh, all that stuff. I mean, <laughs> I've been watching people commentate on video games for far too long, I swear. Sometimes it makes me feel really old because I've been watching YouTube videos for... Um, 
Uh, oh god. When, when would... When would February 2006 have been? Uh... Oh god, I, I don't know when that... Wait, February 2006. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nine... No. Yeah, nine years. Nine years I've been watching YouTube videos. So, yeah, it makes me feel old. Um, anyway, yeah, let's, let's fucking go get that jiggy. Jeez. We've been in this level for over an hour now. That's the point, actually. We shouldn't be in. We shouldn't have been in this level for so long. I think it's because I, I effed up a few times. Actually, I think we've been in this level for just about the right amount of time. I need to fucking make up my mind. Have I been in this level too long, or have I been on it, uh, in it just the right amount of time? I don't bloody know. I'm completely insane. Um, it's becoming so insane. This tiny blue marble is rolling away. Away. You know. <laughs> oh, jeez. I wish I was playing this on the Xbox 360 version because Stop and Swap is active on there and it would have been amazing to do all that on the Xbox 360 and then move on to uh, Banjo-Tooie and be able to carry on the Stop and Swap. Um, you can actually see the Stop and Swap. There we go, yeah. There yeah. we go, fuck you. You can actually see the Stop and Swap in there so you can see the giant ice key but you can't actually access it which is a shame. Um, I could cheat uh, and, and access it. I can actually, I mean, if I do Banjo-Tooie on the emulator, I'll probably have to do that as well. Uh, cheat and, and unlock stop and swap through cheats, because you can't do it otherwise. Um, Banjo, what's wrong with your feet? Jesus. Okay, let's check our stats now. Uh, by all accounts, we should be completely done here, yep. Oh wow, we've only spent 33 minutes on this level. That's not bad at all. Jesus, that's less than the last level. We spent, yeah, 48 minutes on Bubble Gloop Swamp. Holy shit. We only, have, we only have one more Jiggy to go in this level. That's not bad at all. That's two episodes. Uh, about. Um, I, cu I cut it into 15 minute parts, so. But yeah, wow. Uh, well, actually, this will probably be the third part of this session, so. I'm recording this uh, in the afternoon, um, so I mean, like, I, I'm going to be here. I'm alone this weekend uh, that I'm recording this, so I'm, I'm just kind of playing this for a few hours, get some recording done, and and do it as well while the kind of hype is in its prime for um, Playtonic Games' new game announcement. Um, again, gonna gonna talk about that because I fuck, I fucking I can't stop talking about it. I cannot stop thinking about it. I mean. How could you expect me to not talk about it? It's fucking incredible, man. Oh, actually, we can't do that until we've done Gobi's Valley. Um, it's fucking incredible, man. Like, this this is a company, or... or I mean, this is a company that's made up of the veterans of the Rareware uh, co company. You know, they, they... They are the people. They are the ones that were involved in the making of Donkey Kong Country, of... Uh, do, uh, Donkey, well, the Donkey Kong games in general, of Conkers, of Banjo... You know, the, these are veterans. These are people who have been in the gaming industry long enough to know what is good and what isn't. And that is incredible. And I'm looking so forward to their game being out. If I had more money, I'd give them more money. I'm giving £180 to, to that uh, that Kickstarter. Like, and I suggest um, uh, that the Kickstarter goes on until June 7, uh, 17th. Um, hopefully, this will go up late May, because this is early May, it's the 2nd of May, but this will go up hopefully late May. I will put a link in the description um, to uh, the Kickstarter. I don't know where it will be uh, at the point of the end of this month, but I'm going to hope to God that it's still active. Uh, it's in the millions, uh, like many millions, and, uh, and that you guys will be still willing to donate to it if you haven't already. Um, because every little counts, and it's a fucking amazing looking game. Everything about it looks incredible looking. Ah, cauldrons. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same colour to create a shortcut. Okie dokie game. Alright. Uh, there we go. Another one. There we go. There's a shortcut to that other cauldron. Fuck you. <laughs> go away. Don't touch me. Jeez. Um, 
Oh god, we have to go to Gobi's Valley next. Uh, right, well, I think first, or first things first, uh, we're gonna go in here. I've got 500 music notes, so I can go in here. Open the door. Well done, Banjo. Banjo. Um, right, where do we go from here? Ah, oh, right, that's it. We have to go straight through. Uh, we can open Mad Monster Mansion from through here, I think. Do 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 yeah, actually, this is it. We go through here, and I think we can raise the water level, possibly? I don't know. I forget. I'm very bad at this. Alright, here we go. Going to open up Mad Monster Mansion. Who's ready? Who's ready, boys? Do 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 Raise your dongers into the air and scream. Uh, okay, up we go, up we go, up we go. Up the pipe, up the pipe. And now we go over here and try and get past this goddamn fish. Fuck you, fish. Nobody ever liked you. Nobody ever liked your your sprite at all. I don't I don't like the drink sprite actually. Uh, it's, I don't I don't know, man. Like fizzy drinks for me, I, I I'm very specific about fizzy drinks. Um, I mean, specifically, anyway, I like Dr... Not Dr. Pepper, actually. The only fizzy drink that I drink at the moment, or have drunk in the last few years, is Coca-Cola. Uh, and that's it. That's the only fizzy drink I drink. I only drink... Wow, that's a lot of drinks in one sentence. I, I only drink two drinks, which is water and Coke. Uh, not diet, normal Coke. And that's it. And people often say to me, you know, Coke is bad for your health, Coke is bad for you, all that stuff. And, like... I don't know, man. I think about it, and I think, yeah, it can be bad for your health, right? But, like, if you drink three times as much water daily as you do Coke, I don't really think there's much of a problem. In fact, I think that's a healthier way to drink, to be honest. Because you can't spend your entire life just drinking water, and you obviously can't just drink Coke, because that's extremely bad for you. But if you drink, like, a small amount of Coke and a large amount of water every day to counteract that, it's not really bad for your health, is it? I mean, that's what I've always done anyway. It's what I've always thought. You can't really, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? Is that a mumbo token up there? Yeah, we're gonna go get that as well. I've always thought that, to be honest, about, uh, fizzy drinks. About any bad drink, to be honest. You... Th you stole heavy lifting drinks! Oh god, that was a lag. Oh god. I think it's fizzy lifting drinks, actually. You stole fizzy lifting drinks! Um, as from Willy Wonka, the original Willy Wonka. And Chocolate Fat Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, anyone? No? no nobody but me? Maybe my mum? No, maybe my dad, actually. My mum my mum is not here. Uh, maybe my dad knows. Maybe, maybe my dad remembers. Um, Oh my god, you know what, speaking of movies that we've watched far too many times, a movie that consistently comes on every year is, is uh, Wizard of Oz. It, it literally, I've watched that movie more than any other movie ever made. Like, it, it's, it comes on way too many times. If I had to estimate how many times I've actually sat through that entire movie, we'd be in the hundreds. That's how many times I've watched it, because not only is it on every Christmas, but they play it other times as well. And sometimes I'd come home from school and fucking turn over the channel and and it'd be on on like BBC or something and it's just like, oh my god, stop playing this movie! It's old and just... just bleh. Old and duh. Anyway, we've opened Man Monster Mansion. Uh, now we have to go open Gobi's Valley. 350 music notes to open this door. How absurd. I have 500. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Stop it. Stop stop making me have orgasms from amazingness. Um right, well.